Hi again. Um, I wasn't going to come out this week because we've been away for most of the week, but I uh, got up this morning and the conditions are absolutely beautiful. Um, hardly a breath of wind and uh, okay, it's a bit bright for fishing, I accept that, but it's not too hot. Um, so I, I made a last minute decision and um, I've come over to Fields End. Uh, let's move this around a bit because you're getting me in the shadow. Yeah, I've come over to Fields End and um, I'm all tackled up, ready to go. Um, I decided on Fields End because it was an easy one, just a few miles down the road. And um, just spoke to a chap along the way and he said the other day he caught a couple of lovely crucians. So let's hope they're back on the feed. I haven't caught a crucian here for ages. So, okay, um, as they say, we're off. Um, surrounded by gnats. <laughs> I don't know if you can see them, I don't know if the camera's picking them up. But, um, yeah. Uh, starting on maggots today. I threw a few in about a half hour ago when I first got here. I had a bit of drama really. Um, on my landing net pole, um, I've got a quick release uh, socket which I use with my smaller landing net and um, of course I bought a bigger net today just in case the carp turned up and I uh, forgot to take the quick release socket out and I didn't have the matching one on my bigger landing net and I couldn't um, with what I had available I couldn't undo the, um, the little spigot thing that was in the end of the pole so um, Fortunately, the two guys just around the corner, um, one of them had a pair of pliers, so um, that got me out of trouble. The wind is, I think, from the northwest today, which puts it behind me, as you can probably see by the by the disturbance on the water on the far side of the lake there. So it should be quite a peaceable day really. Uh, there's a robbing in the reeds there. We'll see after the maggots. Of course, the last time I was here, I caught absolutely nothing. Um, so, glutton for punishment, I'm back. Ah, there we go. We've caught something today. I think it's a plucky little roach. Yeah. Oh, it's almost not swingable, that one. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's quite a good start, isn't it? Don't mind if I catch quite a few of these today. Oh well, seems like the um, seems like the roach one. Really battle, aren't they? Hmm, these are getting a bit big for a swing. Is, um, that one is better than the last one. Yeah, lovely. I 
And those maggots will like to have another go. I've had these maggots a couple of weeks now, obviously in the fridge, but they're keeping very well. Well, the roach, I think, are getting better every every cast. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can get some really good ones later. Nice fish. I'm throwing a bit of hemp in as well, um, obviously, to attract the roach. But um, if there are any barbel around and they're interested, uh, unfortunately, I um, I forgot to get the luncheon meat out of the um, freezer this morning, so I haven't got anything meatier for the um, carp and barbel. As I say, I um, it was a bit of a last-minute decision to come out, really, so I didn't prepare the evening before like I usually do. So. I've got hemp with me today, I've got sweet corn and maggot, so no bread either, so it's a fairly restricted bait choice today. But the roach don't seem to mind at the moment, this one feels even better. Cool, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I think I may need to net you. Taking a chance, swinging these bigger fish out. Mm. Oh, that's good, the um, hook's come out. Hmm, they're definitely getting bigger. Bigger every cast, not. Oh, I should have got that hook out of the way, shouldn't I? There we go. Yeah, it's a bit of a funny shape, that one. But, um, there we go. <clears throat> well, I've just hit one of those um, awkward bites, and it's definitely a better fish. Um, still a roach, I think. It's, um, it's giving me a bit of a go. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a better fish, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, they're getting better, aren't they? So, we'll persevere. You stay there. Well, after quite a long wait, I finally hooked a fish. <laughs> I've been missing some fast bites. Um, uh, I think I'll put one down to this one. Now, obviously, Roach, I managed to hook this one. That's it. fish on they? Okay. Well after a very dead period um, 
has had two fish one after the other, which is definitely improving. more like a rod. It certainly looks more like a rub, doesn't it? It's got the upturn on the lip. Yeah, beautiful. It's interesting. Um, I changed to red maggots. Um, I've never really been a great believer in whether red or ordinary white maggots makes a difference, but I just changed to rig maggots and I've had two fish one after the other. So whether that's just pure coincidence or there's something in the red maggot thing, I don't know. Um, okay, I'll try mag red maggots again, see if it was a fluke or whether it's really um, made a difference. I'm absolutely positive some of those reeds are knocking down there, so whether there are carp moving around down there, I don't know. If they are, they're not interested in my maggots by the scenes, uh, by the look of things. Yeah, red maggots, straight away again. That's amazing. Well, we'll carry on here with the red maggots. Um, I'm not really um, someone who uses maggots a lot, so... Um, but certainly, um, that's three casts and three fish. <laughs> Well, I didn't believe it. Mm. See if we make it four. It's not going to repeat again with the fourth cast. Um, that's three fish in quick succession, which can't be bad. Oh well. Looks like the red maggot run has finished, <laughs> but still, it was good while it lasted. It was interesting, the guy just, just at the other end there said to me earlier he caught some crucians here on a previous visit. I haven't seen crucians, or I haven't caught crucians for such a long time. So, um... I must admit, most of the ones I have caught have been on bread, so I'm not sure using maggots, whether that's... It should be okay for crucians. Uh, 
not today. Oh, uh, I have now foul hook something, haven't I? Feels. I've got it on the way up. It, it wasn't the bite. I got it on the way up. I don't think it's anything big, but it's foul hooked, which is why it's so difficult to get in. It's a roach. It's a nice roach, but unfortunately, it's foul hooked. I was, I was, I was struck and missed the bite, and then on the way up, I made contact with something. Mm, that's a bit unfortunate. Much nicer to catch them properly. Mm. Yeah. Best fish of the day and it's foul hooked. Mm. It's like a rod, doesn't it? Hmm, perhaps they're at mid-water. Perhaps I ought to try fishing a bit shallower. Uh, let's put you back in the net, shall we? Rather than dropping you in, you're a bit big to... You're a bit big to throw in. Well, that was remarkable, right? I set the float a bit shallower. Threw in a few maggots, cast in, and it went straight away. Absolutely remarkable. So, perhaps we've discovered the secret of the rod, or the roach, whatever they are. Been fishing on the bottom up to now, but obviously these are much better stamp of fish, aren't they? Yeah, they're definitely rod. I think. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they're definitely rod, aren't they? They got the upturned. Bottom lip. Mm. Well, let's see if we can do a repeat performance, shall we? Mm. Yep. Yeah. And yet again. This is a roach this time. So, I was obviously fishing too deep, weren't I? Mm. I've had a couple of more roach um, fishing off the bottom, and um, I'm casting in and throwing a literally less than half a dozen maggots around the float and um, it's not working every time but it's working often enough to be um, a good strategy unfortunately the last one um, sort of came out of the water uh, made quite a disturbance so um, oh god how did I miss that I don't know if you saw that, but the float just vanished. <laughs> right here. Right, let's try again. It's 
thing is taking it mid water they're probably um, taking it very fast I remember as kids we used to go to Richmond um, on the tidal stretch of the Thames we used to sort of research the tide tables to try and get um, try to go when when the tide was low and um, but obviously while you were there it would usually change at some point and the flow would change from one direction to the other and we used to sort of throw in maggots and fish mid water like this and you could actually see the roach um, sort of flashing below the surface uh, and we caught some good roach um, Oh, I must stop pulling them out of the water. It wasn't such a big fish this time, so... No, they're still quite a reasonable fish. <clears throat> yeah, this is working quite well. Mid-water roach fishing. Not got many maggots left actually. Um, these were what these were leftovers to start with, to be honest. But, well, have fun while we've got them. Watching the moorhen then, not my float. <laughs> when I look back, it gone. Ah, dear, dear. I'm not sure I'm going to get the biggest fish in the shoal fishing like this, but um, it's certainly given me a bit of sport. This feels a bit better. I'm not sure what it is. I cast very close to the reeds and I'm still at mid water. Uh, it's, it's just a roach, but it's um, certainly given a good account of itself. Nice fish. Well, I just went back on the bottom and um, we've got quite a nice fish. Um, I don't know, it's probably not a lot bigger than the others, is it? I don't know, it's longer. Yeah, yeah, it's long and thin, isn't it? But it's four. Well, I just, <laughs> I just cast in, and the float went away immediately. And it's only a roach, but crikey, it shot off. Absolutely shot off. <laughs> and 
hooks come out, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as the float cocked, it shot away. Um, it's not massive, but it certainly went off. A little wildlife treat during the day as um, the little grebe chicks uh, came into view and you can see one of them is bothering her mum for a fish that she's just caught. Um, quite delightful. Taking on quite a long zoom so um, not the best of pictures but, but you get the idea. Oh well, my um, head cam now is running out of battery, so I just had a little message come through. Um, so I think that's the end of um, recording on the head cam. I've got a power pack, but I'm not going to stay for much longer, so it's not worth getting it out really. Um, so if I so if I um, if I <laughs> get anything really good, I'm afraid you're not going to see it. So there we go. Well, with my um, head cam battery empty, I took some footage with my camcorder just to capture the last um, hour of, of fishing. And um, unfortunately, with the bright sky, um, it's left me in a bit of a silhouette, but you can see the action. Um, there's only a couple of clips here from, from as I say, nearly an hour's um, additional fishing. So I just included a couple of clips and as you can see, um, I'm just, just landing a fish there. Same sort of um, action as before. A few maggots thrown in and cast the float among the maggots and um, bingo, a fish. I'm afraid the um, camcorder is a little bit too far away for you to see the fish that well, but um, you get the idea. <laughs> well, as they say, here we go again. <laughs> um, yeah, I've thrown a few maggots in before this and um, the float wasn't there long and yet another bite, yet another roach. All about the same size really, some were a bit bigger, um, nothing, nothing exceptional but it was really really good sport as I say I was kept busy by them for most of the time I was there. There were a couple of periods when it went a bit slack, a bit dead but really um, I couldn't complain, it was, it was really good sport today.
well that's it for today um, quite an interesting day really uh, lost count of the roach and rud I really don't know how many I caught in the end and there were some nice fish probably at least four ounces probably four to six ounces in a couple of cases um, interesting that towards the end I discovered that well not towards the end about halfway through really I discovered that the rud in particular were feeding mid-water and it was working quite well just a few maggots free feed cast the um, float in among the maggots and um, yeah it was almost a fisher cast at one point the battery ran out on my head cam so I've been recording some of the later stages on this cam but I'm not quite sure how it'll come out but we'll see when um, when I get to edit the video anyway um, as usual uh, thanks for watching um, at least some fish today gorgeous day um, yeah I enjoyed it I really enjoyed it today in the end I stopped when I ran out of maggots which was quite interesting but I was going to pack up at three but in the end it's nearly four o'clock now because it was just it was good fun so until next time uh, thanks again and cheers